Hello everybody, and today I will be showing you how to <clears throat> do Quartermaster or Cargo. You can do this as the Quartermaster or a Cargo Technician. It doesn't really matter which job you pick. Now, now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's a little bit into the round due to some o OC issues that are still going on, but I'm simply not going to respond to because now he just makes himself look like an idiot. Now, most of the time, there's crates up here in the warehouse. There should still be crates up here in the warehouse. Yeah. For every crate, you get five points. And, um, Cargo's job... Excuse me. Now, as I was saying, you get five points for every uh, crate you put on here. You also get points for uh, returning the request forms if you have stamped them. <clears throat> and, uh,. Your job is to get items ordered for people in other departments. <clears throat> now, another part is the mail room. So it's not really used much most of the time. It's this is where everything from disposals will come if I can get to a the, all of these will go to here. If you let it keep rolling, it'll go to a disposal sector in maintenance where it can get tossed into space. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, ordering stuff for departments, the mailroom, and mining. As the quartermaster, which is what I'm playing as right now, it, their job is to manage all three. Mining, half the time, doesn't do your their job, but if you can get them to do your, uh, their job, it'll help. Get metal for engineering and robotics. Plasma, uranium, diamonds, etc. for research and destruction. Order crates for whoever needs crates. Now, there's several ways you can do this. You can ask them to fill out a form or you can just order the crate. And uh, the crew will get mad at you if you just start ordering crates at random. Like, if the clown wants a weapons crate, security is going to get mad at you because the clown shouldn't have a weapons crate <clears throat> and uh, the clown couldn't get access to it anyway unless he had a ID or another way to open the crate and only security IDs the captain the hop warden and head of security IDs would open security crates uh, medical crates would be opened with medical IDs there are a few crates that don't have ID locks on them, like emergency crates and stuff. <clears throat> uh, Vi <laughs> Vime's having some severe issues in <laughs> uh, OC. Looks like he was talking with somebody in Adam Chat or in an admin PM and accidentally talked to OC instead. And, uh, other than that, that's pretty much is to order crates to the other departments and keep an eye on mining. Yes, I'm one of those QMs. Is there an issue? There's no point in calling 
crates wasting points if there's no need for that crate because when something happens and there's no points for said crate needed not only is that department going to be mad at you for ordering the clown 10 uh, wizard costume crates they're just not going to be happy now mining's job they get one free voucher and uh this here is where they can purchase for they get points for uh, mining not still don't see why people don't do it or if they insert one of their vouchers they can get one of three items to help them um, outside of mining you can find aliens not like facehugger aliens but like goliaths and uh, gold bugs and pretty much mob uh, NPC mobs uh, hive lords not that dangerous but if they keep spawning little hivelings they can overwhelm you and kill you but they because they do like one brute a hit uh, one brute damage a hit but that's about it and uh, then you have goliaths which will straight up they're like straight up hulks but they're good in uh, getting you like um, plates that you can put on your uh, mining space armor or I'm pretty sure any rig suit then there's a uh, some other alien that shoots cold rays but yeah that is their job is mining getting stuff out there once they've mined it all and everything they would take it back to the station because you used to have to refine it on station there was no points to get anything but now to get their points they have to mine bring it back onto the station head all the way up here and put it on that box open the crate it'll put everything in it'll say how many points are unclaimed you insert your ID mining ID QM ID cargo ID I believe are the three that you can put in there this is the value plasma diamond uranium bananium uh, have the higher sand iron have the lowest you cannot put the explosive ore in here which I find kinda dumb why would somebody not want the explosive ore but they insert their ID they accept all the points and then they can go back okay they won't what did they authorize they authorize something apparently so let's see view orders nope no orders um, view request they want me to order something but there's no request so uh yeah I find that quite funny if there's several ways to do it you can just order it or you can have them fill out a form usually I would have them fill out a form because if security comes bashing on my door for them having a certain crate I want to know the reason they wanted it and who wanted it So, he should be creating a request here soon. There it is. He wants a Ripley or Ripley crate. When they order something, it'll come up in request. You can approve it or remove it. If you approve it, it will show up in view orders. Next time you order it, uh, next time you send to the shuttle to the station the crate will come and you can either then have them uh, come to QM or quartermaster or cargo or whatever or you can load the crate onto the mule bots and the mule, bot mule bots can take it there another way is for you to personally take the crate there yourself usually having them come or having the mule bot send it to the correct department is a uh, the best bet here now uh, boot wrong channel and um other than that 
sometimes you'll have some people asking to get some things from your auto autoloth autoloth whatever it's called it, if you hack it they can make rapid construction device but usually it'll be the detective wanting more bullets or a lot of stuff like that what okay Borg is arresting the robotics for absolutely no reason um somebody took the order form I prefer to keep those in a locker because then it allows me okay somebody placed it in the filing cabinet apparently without me being able to check it all right let's see rank it tells you the rank it tells you who it was requested by this is just the number for the order reason supply what crate they want the access restriction this is what ID they require to open it this is the contents and then you can either deny it or grant it with these uh, two different ones since it's already ordered we're obviously going to grant it and uh, if security wanted uh, want to know why it was granted they can give the reason who ordered it the rank they were and they can go chase after them and not arrest you for giving them a crate for absolutely no reason other than that I would suggest leaving this one on but this one off because sometimes you will have dead bodies tossed down disposals and uh, if they are if both of these are on they'll go in there go to the other disposal unit speaking of which we're gonna go check right now because apparently there's leans I had it on for a little while beforehand so we're gonna go make sure there's no issues over there but if you go straight out and then in here this is where everything goes a cool thing about this is it will crush stuff into a stacker it can make metal and glass and all kinds of stuff so we're gonna open that turn it on it made glass it'll go into the stacking this will go back up to the mail room of course you have to watch it because if the mail room is active with both conveyor belts the metal is just going to come back in uh, let's see let's have a party with the dawn okay monkey's gone and uh, other than that that's pretty much their job except uh, when they get traded then you can just emag all of the uh, crates open and become overlord of the station with your arsenal of weapons and uh, pretty much their job is put crates on shuttle get points order crates uh, rage at mining because they're not doing their job and uh, get robusted by security because you gave somebody a crate with absolutely no reason so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if I miss something or you want more details about the uh, job which I'm not sure what other details I could give you other uh, in this job because that's pretty much the job that I described um, there are a few tricks traders can do but I tend to want people to find that out on their own and uh, I hope you liked the video and uh, I'll see you next time